According to the Center for Disease Control, heart disease is the leading cause of death for women in the United States. But the American Heart Association says that the rate is higher for African American women ages 20 and up. From 2013 to 2016, 57% had cardiovascular disease. It's an issue a local organization called Brown Girls Brunch is hoping to bring attention to. Here's reporter Gabrielle Hayes. We have so many issues that are not addressed, um, and sometimes we're afraid to even address them. Today, Brown Girls Brunch created a safe space for discussion about health discrepancies among women of color. I'm gonna be honest, we don't have a lot of um, people of color or women of color in healthcare that look like us. Carrie McCoy is a nurse practitioner at UT. She says when it comes to things like heart disease, women don't always get the care they need. According to the American Heart Association, African American women are more likely to have a stroke and heart failure. We need to take care of ourselves and not just our families and everybody else because then we won't be around to take care of everybody else. Filling in these blanks is something Brown Girls Brunch aims to do. Today, women from all walks of life got the chance to share their stories and put their own health first. I really want women to walk away empowered. Cartesia Riley is a PhD student at UT. She says society doesn't always allow the space for these kinds of conversations. It really felt so isolating, like not really knowing other people who were dealing with some of the same things. But McCoy says opening dialogue and having better access could change that and change lives. There needs to be more education around what do we look for how do we have that communication no matter what the color of our health care provider is and educate our health care providers on how to cross cultural lines. In Knoxville, Gabrielle Hayes, 10 News. If this story affected you or you'd like to know more about Brown Girls Brunch, you can check out our website, WBIR.com. We have some links there.